$1,000 killing machine. The Barrett 25. The Barrett 25. Can you imagine a medical device meant to save lives actually taking them? Or one that ends up causing a nuclear war? In this video, we will discuss the story of the Therac-25, a sinister device that ended up killing people. Not only that, similar devices almost caused catastrophic events. Stay tuned to learn how the development of technology, while intended for good, can often go horribly wrong. Back in the 80s, a medical device called Therac-25 was created to fight cancer with radiation, but instead of helping patients, it ended up hurting them, even killing them. The first victim was Catherine Yarborough, a 61-year-old woman from Georgia. She received a massive dose of radiation during her treatment, causing her unbearable pain and immobility. But when she tried to tell the technicians that something was wrong, they brushed it off and sent her home. It wasn't until Catherine sought the help of an independent expert that she discovered she had received a dose hundreds of times greater than normal. And get this, the machine's sensors were providing false information, which could have caused the malfunction. It's a terrifying thought that a machine designed to save lives could end up being a killer. For your information, normal radiation kills cells. So imagine radiation hundreds of times greater than normal. Don't get us wrong, Therac-25 was truly revolutionary. At the time, hospitals around the world were facing difficulties maintaining two separate machines for treating patients. But then, something extraordinary came up. Dual mode operation in Therac-25. It was a game changer. With dual mode operation, hospitals no longer needed to maintain two separate machines which reduced their maintenance costs and made logistics a lot easier. Patients could now receive treatment without being moved from one room to another. Isn't that amazing? Unfortunately, Therac-25 was far from perfect, and the consequences would be severe. And it's not just medical devices we need to worry about. Remember the Soviet Union's early warning radar that reported the launch of five ballistic missiles from American bases? the Soviets were ready to retaliate with a nuclear war. But thankfully, an officer on duty had doubts and prevented a catastrophe. So the question is, should we be worried about robots taking over our jobs and even turning against us? It's a thought-provoking question that makes you wonder about the future of technology and how far we're willing to go. In the same period of history, a similar technical issue nearly claimed the life of humankind on September 26, 1983, peak of Cold War. The Soviet Union's early warning radar picked up five ballistic missiles launched from American bases, and the generals were quick to assume that the United States had started a nuclear war. It was a tense moment, but one officer, Stanislav Petrov, had doubts. He asked himself, why would the U.S. send only five missiles if they wanted to destroy the USSR completely? It turned out that the Soviet early warning system had activated a false alarm because of sunbeams. Can you imagine that? Sunbeams almost caused a nuclear war. So could it be possible that the sensors in Therac-25 were providing false information and leading to the overdosing of patients? It seems possible. And to make matters worse, it took a while for anyone to realize what was happening. But that's not the only crazy thing that happened. There was another patient who received treatment and complained of a burning sensation in her hip. The machine shut down and the operator kept trying to make it work, but it failed five times. Can you believe that? The patient died two months later and an autopsy revealed that radiation was the cause. Now here's the really scary part. The manufacturer of Therac-25, AECL, reassured doctors that the probability of accidental overexposure was zero. Can you imagine that? They were saying everything was fine, even though people were dying. And it's not just in the medical field. In 2007, 12 fighter planes lost control because their onboard computers blocked access to data for hours. Machines are capable of causing so much chaos and destruction, it's crazy to think about. So you might be wondering, 
what went down with their Act 25? Well, it went through numerous tests and nothing seemed to be wrong with it. But who knows? Could it be that all radiotherapy devices around North America suddenly developed collective intelligence and ganged up on humans? Additionally, back in 1986, at the East Texas Cancer Center, Ray Cox, a 64-year-old man, was receiving treatment with Therac-25, a radiotherapy device. But during his treatment, something went horribly wrong. Instead of the electron mode he needed, the machine switched to X-ray mode, which is a deadly mistake. It's almost like the machine had a mind of its own and was trying to harm Ray on purpose. Now, it's easy to blame the machine, but we have to consider the possibility that humans made a mistake. After all, even NASA specialists can mess up big time. Remember the Mars Climate Orbiter? It was a spacecraft that was supposed to explore Mars, but it ended up crashing into the planet. It's like the spacecraft decided to give up on its mission and commit suicide. What's scary is that this was due to a conversion error between two different measurement systems. On April 11, 1986, Vernon Kidd was prescribed a treatment for skin cancer. The same operator who had been working with Ray Cox hit the return key several times to make sure Therac-25 wouldn't change the values. However, the machine had other plans, and in a few moments, Vernon was screaming in agony as his head felt like it was melting under the beams of radiation. Vernon spent three agonizing weeks in the hospital before passing away. His autopsy showed that he received over 25,000 rads of radiation, and no one knew why Therac-25 was malfunctioning. How could a revolutionary invention become a killer machine? But the physicist Fritz Heger didn't believe that Therac-25 had a sinister mind. He knew there had been a massive technical failure that bypassed numerous safety systems. And this isn't the only case of a machine going rogue. Have you ever heard of the saying, the devil is in the details? Well, it seems like that's exactly what happened at Knight Capital, a leading financial market maker. The company lost $460 million in just 45 minutes due to a technological failure. The computers started buying securities at high prices and selling them when their value plunged, exactly the opposite of what they were supposed to do. One hour before the market opened, 97 employees received an email about a critical software called PowerPeg. Sounds weird, right? especially since this old trading algorithm was supposedly deleted in 2003. But guess what? It was still lurking around on Knight Capital servers, and when the new code was written, it unknowingly activated PowerPeg, causing chaos and destruction like it was seeking revenge on those who abandoned it. But let's be real, it was just the development team's negligence. It makes you wonder if human irresponsibility is the root of all crimes, even ones committed by Therac-25. Speaking of Therac-25, let me tell you one more thing about it. Physicist Fritz Hager was determined to figure out what was going on, and he spent the whole weekend doing experiments in the control room with the technician who was involved in both incidents that caused death of the patients. Here's what they discovered. If the operator selected X-ray mode, the machine needed about eight seconds to process the command. But if the operator kept typing, any new information was ignored, resulting in deadly doses of radiation. And get this, the software safety system that was supposed to prevent these lethal outcomes was written by a student with no programming experience. Can you believe it? Luckily, those machines were removed from service in 1989, and now, manufacturers use good old mechanical interlocks in addition to the software-based safety system. This makes you wonder how scary a world would be where artificial intelligence is responsible for writing code for the most advanced programs. It's not just a distant future anymore. ChatGPT is a prime example of that. With this power comes a haunting question. Can AI generate a code that's even more deadly than what we've seen so far? It's a disturbing prospect, and one that becomes even more terrifying when you consider that ChatGPT is not limited by any boundaries. Just imagine, what if, at some point, the application itself turns into a homicidal maniac if it determines that the only solution to our global issues is the annihilation of humanity? Do you think we're heading towards these outcomes with our recent advancements in AI?